it all started in high school, really. I got started just doing woodworking. Oh, wait, let me turn this off. <laughs> Briar Maid interview, take one. Uh, yeah, I'm Briar Maid. I make restaurant menus, check presenters, signs, kind of catered towards the hospitality and restaurant industry. Where Briar Leather, it's more the retail side. I do bags, wallets, and sell directly on my website. I moved to Norway to work on my master's degree. Took my leather tools over there and I had my dad ship me some leather while I was waiting for my green card to get a real job in Norway. And I made about a hundred wallets. I sold them for a good amount of money. Saw it had potential and I actually liked that more than school so I dropped out of school and came back here to do the leather. When I came back to San Diego, it was slow at first and I did it out of my house. I uh, set up a little work studio by my bed and then bought the laser so I had to get like an industrial space. I was actually doing custom retail goods so people could put their name on it and you could choose the leather color, the thread color. And it turned out to be a lot of work dealing with like a picky customer for one product. And then once you deliver that product, you pretty much lose a customer in a sense. So I wanted to kind of focus more on the B2B things in the wholesale industry. At that point, I was ordering a lot of leather from the leather store and they referred a restaurant to me. I delivered those menus and it's just been word of mouth since then and that's keeping me pretty busy. Busy. Right now I find inspiration mostly from my customers. I spend a lot of time actually designing and trying to make it unique for them. I do a mix of wooden menus, leather menus, steak knife holders. I'm working on a bento box right now for a really high-end sushi place. And I think the materials and craftsmanship really sets it apart. Sometimes when I'm at restaurants with friends, they're like, oh, it's a cool menu. I'm like, oh, I made that. So that's kind of get a kick out of that. I think in the next five to 10 years, I'd like to expand my business to more cities. Briar Maid doesn't necessarily have to be limited to restaurants. That's kind of the beauty about it. Like if another brand or company wants me to make a product for them, I could definitely do that. I define success as just doing what you enjoy. And being an entrepreneur, you obviously have to pay the bills. So if you're supporting yourself and you enjoy doing it, I think that's success in its own. Don't be afraid to fail sometimes. Just go for it. <laughs>